everybody and welcome back to more political chatter. In this video we will be talking about the Republican presidential candidates and uh, how the debate qualification stands right now. Who is guaranteed to get in, who has reached you know, the requirements, um, who might get in, and who really doesn't have a shot of getting in. Um, so we will just be taking a look at all of these candidates, Republican candidates, and talking about the debates and which ones will get in and which will not. So first of all, the debate or the qualifications um, to get into the debate are this. You have to have at least 1% in three national po polls or 1% um, in two national polls and 1% in either a Iowa or New Hampshire poll. And you have to meet 40,000 donors. And that's what most of these uh, candidates are struggling on, is the 40,000 unique donors. So, um, this uh, is pretty difficult for a lot of candidates. I mean, a lot of candidates are really struggling with this. If we take a look back at the... 20 at the 2020 Democratic primaries. I don't know exactly what the requirements were, but everyone got in. I mean, literally everyone who was running, you know, every major contender. I mean, remember, they had 20 people in the first debate and they split it up between two nights 10 the first night, 10 the second night. So, um, it was a lot easier for the Democrats to get in and. A lot of people, especially like Asa Hutchinson, has been vocal about this. I don't know who else. Or maybe Will Hurd. Perry, oh, Perry Johnson has a lot uh, been very critical of this. Um, is the 40,000 donors. I mean, it is pretty... Um, it is... Uh, it's pretty difficult. I mean, that is not a super easy task that all of these candidates can just zoom by. I mean, that is a struggle getting 40,000 donors for a ton of these candidates. So, that being said, let's start off, um, we'll, we'll go in order, with Doug Burgum. I mean, Doug Burgum has, uh, has reached the polling requirements, it's all about, and that's the same for a lot of these candidates. I think every candidate, yes, that's right, every single candidate has received uh, the polling threshold. Maybe not Suarez, but definitely besides Suarez, every candidate has met the polling threshold. But for a guy like Doug Burgum, it's all about um, name recognition. I mean, not a lot of people know this this small state governor, Doug Burgum. So, um, you know, that makes it very difficult for people to put money into his campaign just so they could hear him on the debate stage. You know, a lot of people won't be doing that. So, it is, like this article, or no, a different article said, it's really a toss-up for Doug Burgum, whether or not he gets into the debates. Um, but it's completely a possibility, and we do still have till August 26th. So, January, February, March, May, June, July, August, yeah. So, we, he has more than a month, about, what, a month and a half, maybe more, um... To get forty thousand, but we don't know how he stands. For a few of these candidates, we know how they stand when it comes to um, donations, and you know some are on pace to make it, some are not. Um, and there's also the factor, you know, it's the, it's not just the one percent in polls and forty thousand unique donors. It's also the loyalty pledge to get onto the debate. You will have to swear to. Um, support the eventual Republican nominee, and some have said that they will not do that, and we'll get to those candidates. Now comes Chris Christie. He has flown by the polling um, thresholds, but his challenge is definitely, uh, I mean, obviously, the donations. However, um, I remember seeing something that he posted where he hit 10,000 donors, and that was a little while ago, and I really absolutely think that he will be able to make it to 40,000. I mean, this is a guy that Democrats are donating to simply because uh, he will take on Trump on the debates. He's not afraid of him. And that is what a lot of people are excited to see. So I think that Chris Christie does make it into the debates. Um, and yeah. 
And but there is the loyalty pledge for him, which is a factor for him. However, he is honestly someone that I see saying this that he will, and then not in the end. But it doesn't really matter、um, electorally if he just wants to get onto the debates. Then we have Ron DeSantis. Obviously, he will get into the debates. He is going to fly, or he has already flown past every. You know the polling, the donations, the loyalty pledge. Obviously, he's he's good to go. Larry Elder has pulled at one percent a few times, so he's in when it comes to the polling. But we don't really know where he stands on fundraising. But Larry Elder has stayed very low profile throughout this race. I mean, he is not putting a whole ton of effort into this. His campaign is not going anywhere. He's never pulled above one percent. I think that Larry Elder does not make it into the debates. I really don't see it. I mean, he's very forgotten about right now. I mean, you hear stuff about every candidate. I mean, Asa Hutchinson is always on CNN. You probably see him there. Tim Scott is campaigning in New Hampshire. Francis Suarez just did a 5K or something, and then of course you see Trump and DeSantis. But really, you really forget about Larry Elder. I mean, he he's not doing anything right now. Uh, in this race, so I don't see it.、Um, and again, I'm really surprised how how、um, how do I say this? How how you know how just how difficult these the forty thousand donors will be for a lot of these candidates. I mean, they should really not have made that. They should have made it so all of them、uh, could get in. Next, we have Nikki Haley, who. Is guaranteed to get into the debate. She has raised like seven million dollars, so obviously she has over forty thousand donors.、Um, she's pulling up three, four, five percent nationwide, so she is good to go. Will Hurd, former congressman, no one likes him. He, I don't think. I'm sorry that I forgot to mention this. When I said only Suarez hasn't made the polling thresholds, but I'm not sure if Will Hurd has met the polling thresholds. I don't think he he did actually, or is right now. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't、uh, remember ever seeing a single poll with him at one percent. No one knows who he is. He's just a former congressman. Um, he wasn't really relevant during his time in office. And he, all he's running on is, you know, being anti-Trump. And forgot to mention, he literally said on CNN that he will not sign the loyalty pledge. He said that he won't, you know, be a liar, say he will now, and then not end up doing it. So Will Hurd, I think, as of right now, is guaranteed to not make it into the debates. And when it comes to when it comes to donations, oh, he will have a very hard time getting there. Um, and then we have Asa Hutchinson, who is the former governor of Arkansas. And recently, I saw this article, and Asa Hutchinson has only five thousand of the donors of the forty thousand donors he needs. Just five thousand. He's one eighth of the way there. So as I said, I mean, if Asa Hutchinson is only at five thousand donors, then I'm really skeptical of people like Doug Burgum. Uh, Francis Suarez,、um, you know, other people, are they going to even come close to the donors needed? Because that is just insane to me. That Asa Hutchinson is only at five thousand unique donors. That is not good news for Asa Hutchinson.、Um, but he has met polling requirements. That's good for him, I guess. Maybe he can somehow make it to forty thousand, and then. Um, the loyalty pledge, he probably will, and then maybe live Trump is the nominee. All right, we have Perry Johnson, and interestingly enough, Perry Johnson has raised ten thousand or has ten thousand unique donors, according to him, and that he is on pace to hit forty thousand plus. He has met the polling requirements. He polled at one percent nationwide twice, and he has one percent in a poll in I think Iowa. So interestingly enough, Asa Hutchinson 
is likely not going to get into the debates, while Perry Johnson, who does not even have a Wikipedia photo, will get into the debates. That will, it will be a big surprise when Perry Johnson shows up on that debate stage. That will be very, very interesting. But according to him, he is going to get in, which is good news for him. Next up, we have Mike Pence, who is usually who consistently pulls in third place. Well, I shouldn't say consistently, but um, sometimes yeah, Tim Scott just pulled out like seven. Um, but usually pulls at third place nationwide, and just very similar to Nikki Haley's numbers, he's at four or five, sometimes six percent. I'm. I am confident that we that he will get past 40,000 donors. I mean, we're not certain. We're certain with Nikki Haley because she raised $7 million. But um, with Mike Pence, that will be more of a struggle. But he is a former vice president. I, I really think it happens. Um, then is Vivek Ramaswamy, who is actually guaranteed to get into the debates. He confirmed this. He's... Polling it. He pulled at 10% nationwide. I made a video on it. Video did great. Thanks all who, view, who viewed it. But he has like so, so many donors already. And he announced that he will be in the debates that he, you know, is way past the requirements. So good for him, I guess, because he, because no one really knew him when he launched his campaign. Now we have Tim Scott, who is definitely guaranteed to be in the debates. I believe he said this. Yeah, he said it on Fox News once. Um, but, you know, he will support the Republican nominees polling at 4 or 5, 3, 4 or 5 percent, just like Haley and Pence. And I'm sure he will, you know, surpass 40,000 donors. He has, he has a good amount of, of hardcore fans. He really does. Next, we have Francis Suarez. It's, it's, it's pretty toss-up for him. I mean, um, I'm not sure if he has met the polling requirements, but if not, he's very close. I remember at least seeing one poll where he was at 1%. So I think he makes it in polling requirements. But the 40,000 donors will be tough. But he is running Facebook ads like you get a shirt or a bumper sticker for only a dollar, which I was a victim of. Um, anyway, um, you know, there's a few candidates doing Facebook ads. You might have heard about Perry Johnson doing it. Um, and Doug Burgum will send you an American flag if you donate a dollar. Interestingly enough, my American flag came in today after I donated one dollar to Doug Burgum. Highly recommend. Anyway, um, he's been doing the same thing, Francis Suarez. So, he, whoops, he might come close, but to be completely honest, I would be surprised if Suarez makes it in. I really would. Um, at this point, I'm really... I'm, I don't know. I, I don't think he will. I don't think he'll meet 40,000. He'll come close, but I really just don't see it happening. And obviously, Trump gets into the debates. So, where it stands, um, going through, Doug Burgum is so, so, so 50-50, but, I'm gonna go, but I am going to go with yes. Chris, sorry, oh my god, I can't speak. Chris Christie is a yes. Juan DeSantis is a yes. Larry Elder is a no. Nikki Haley is a yes. Will Hurd is a no. Asa Hutchinson is a no. Perry Johnson is a yes. Mike Pence is a yes. Vivek Ramaswamy is a yes. Tim Scott is a yes. Francis Suarez is a no. And of course, Donald Trump is a yes. So we, so if I'm right, there would only be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine candidates on that debate stage, which isn't bad, but there were 20 in the Democratic first debate, okay, you know, in the span of two days. So, um, it'll, I'm really excited to see, you know, candidates that make it and don't. That is something that I am really look, looking forward to, um, that will definitely be very interesting to uh, look out for, you know, throughout the throughout the election season. So thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Thanks so much.